So it's easy to understand why Hollywood really likes that weapon. It is very dramatic in operation, and it did have its uses on the battlefield. Of course, if the Americans have a submachine gun, you can count on the fact that the Germans are going to have their own equivalent of the submachine gun, and to talk to you about their version of this weapon, they're returning to Sergeant Gresham. The weapon we're going to talk to you about is the MP40. It stands for Machine and Pistola or Machine Pistol 40. This weapon was designed before the war. It was intended to be issued to paratroopers and armored vehicle crewmen only. However, as soon as they got into the war, they rapidly found out that this would be a useful weapon to have in the infantry squad, and they started issuing them to the squad leaders in every infantry squad. This weapon is full automatic only. It fires the 9mm Parabellum pistol cartridge, the same cartridge used by the German Luger and Walther P38, etc. It's fired from a 32 round detachable magazine. It has a cyclic rate of fire of about 450 rounds per minute. And in this configuration, its effective range is out to about 100 yards. But if I want to increase that, all I have to do is extend the collapsible buttstock flip the sight to the other position, and I can increase that effective range out to about 200 yards. Now I'll demonstrate for you the German MP40. That's the German submachine gun.